Hello and welcome to Mr. Blazing Fishy again. Right, so today I'll be reviewing True Crypt. I will show you how to make a vault, make a encrypted volume, and I will show you how to mount an encrypted volume. So to create one, you go. Um, let's do that again. You open up True Crypt. You create a volume. You leave that default unless you want something else. I'm just going to leave it default for the sake of this video. I'm going to leave everything on default. So basically, you just go through it, click next, and then you can select a file that you want to be. You want to be uh, private. I'm just going to call it private. For now, which is very weird, but that's what I'm going to call it. And you can make it never save history, and you click next. Here, you can select what type of protection you want, and that is some sort of thing, right? And I'm just going to leave it at this because, well, I don't know what the other options do. You can have it how big you want it. I'm just going to have it as 10 megabytes for now. Oh, Skype's calling me. And then you click next. Give it a password. I'm just going to call it test for the purposes of this video yep so the password is test for the purposes of making video click next yep okay it's just saying that warning um, warning short passwords can be encrypted quite easily. Right, so as you may see now, I have a new file, and if we double click on it, we cannot open it with anything else other than TrueCrypt. If we go to my desktop, click on New Private, then click on Mount, type in the password as Test, click Enter, and go into mm, Computer, and it will show up as another drive. And there it is. That is our encrypted volume on my computer lags for some reason when I'm recording with um Camera Studio. Okay then I'll see you in oh yeah. You can also dismount the volume by clicking this button. So if you um that come in you got some sort of pornography in the encrypted file. All you have to do is click dismount and it will exit the programs that were using the video files or written files automatically. Anyway, that's it, YouTube. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.